Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new episode of Online Lessons. Today we are going to look at the correction of the October-November 2016 paper 1-2. Starting with question number 1, give us two reasons why a programmer would choose to write code in low-level language. Answer can be direct access to the computer processor or special hardware can increase the speed of processing of a program. Question 1b. High level languages require either an interpreter or a compiler to translate, translate the program. Uh, the table below lists a number of statements about language translators. Tick which statement refers to interpreter and which refers to compiler. Translator source code into machine code. Compiler. Producers an executable file in a machine code. Compiler again. Execute high level language program one instruction at a time. Interpreter. Once translated, the translator does not need to be present in the program to run compiler. An executable file is produced. Compiler. Question number two. State four functions of an operating system. Answers can be provide a user interface, handle interrupts, memory management, file management, manages peripherals, that is input and outputs. Provide security methods, allow multitasking, and lastly, manages multiprogramming. Question number three. Explain what is meant by, firstly, serial data transmission, secondly, parallel data transmission. Serial data transmission, it is one where one bit is sent at a time over a single wire. Parallel data transmission is one where several bits are sent at a time using multiple wires. Part B. A factory is connected to a printer. The printer is located in an office one kilometer away from the factory. Identify which data transmission method which would be most suitable for this connection. So the data transmission should be serial. Give two reasons for your choice. Firstly, serial data transmission is more reliable over long distances. Secondly, it is a cheaper connection as single wire needed. Question number four, part A. So nine bytes of data are transmitted from one computer to another. Even parity is used, an additional parity byte is also sent. The 10 bytes arrive at the destination computer as follows. One of the bits was corrupted during the transmission. Circle the corrupted bit in the corrupt byte in the table above. So here what you have to do, you have to count the number of ones to see which bit or byte is odd. For the first column we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's even, second, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, even, third, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, even again, fourth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we know that bit 4 here, the fourth column, is in error because we have five ones making it odd. Now we are going to look at which row is in error, the first one, 3, 6, is good, second one, 2. Even is good, 4, even good, the 4th one, 2, even it's good, the 5th one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, even it's good, the 6th one, 4, even it's good, the 7th one, 3, 4, 5, for the 7th one we have 5 ones, making it odd, so the 4th column and the 7th row is the bit in error. The intersection of the fourth column and the seventh row is the bit in error. So the circle should have been drawn here. Part B, how you came to this conclusion? So as we said earlier, row 7 has an odd number of ones and column 4 has an odd number of ones. Number 5, 
So a computer uses an 8-bit register. The 8-bit register contains binary integers. Write the binary value represented by the question given. So the answer for the first one is 112. Part B, all bits in the register are shifted one place to the right as shown below. Write the binary value that is printed after the shift. It's 56. State the effect of the shift. The number has been divided by 2. Part D, uh, the original number in part A is shifted three places to the right. Show the new binary number. So the new binary number is as follows. Uh, what is the equivalent binary value? The equivalent binary value is uh, 14. I've missed this one. The value is 14. Uh, describe the problem that could cause if the original binary number in part A is shifted five places to the right. So what is the problem? Run out of spaces to the right of the register. As such, we are going to lose in precision. Question number six. Four computer terms and eight description are shown. Draw lines to connect each computer term to the correct description. So ALU, it carries out operations such as addition and multiplication. And secondly, carries out operations such as and or not. Control unit fetch just each instruction in turn. Manages execution of each instruction. RAM stores the part of operating system in use. Stores data currently in use. Lastly, ROM can be read but not altered. Stores bootstrap loader and BIOS. Question number seven, part. A. First part. Calculate the truth table of the logic diagram. So the truth table is as follows. So we have as answer 0010. And what a single logic gate that can replace this is the AND gate. For the second part, A second part, the truth table is as follows. And the single logic gate that can replace this diagram is the OR gate. Part B, first part, draw the logic statement of A is 1 and B is 1, or B not 1 and C is 1. So the diagram is as follows. A description of how the marks is given has also been shown. Question 7B, part 2. Complete the truth table for the logic statement in part B, first one. So here's a complete truth table with the working. As such, the answer of X should be 01000111. Question number eight. Identify whether the false statement about file compression are correct by using true or false in the tab table. So MIDI stores the actual music notes in a compressed format. False. JPEG files are example of lossless file compression. False. MP3 files are on average 90% smaller than the music files stored on a CD. True. And before files, for example, of lossy file compression. True. Question number 9a. Explain what is meant by denial of service attack. So, it's a large number of requests are sent to a network or server all at once. Designed to flood a network server with useless traffic or request, the network or server will come to a halt trying to deal with all the traffic requests. As such, it prevents users from gaining access to the website or serve. Question 9b. Name and describe two other potential security threats when using the internet. So we have a list of potential security threats. So we can have virus, so software that uh, replicates causes corruption, hacking, unauthorized access to a data system, Phishing, a link attached to, sent to user to fake website. Farming, malicious code installed on a user hard drive. Uh, computer is redirected to a fake website. And spyware, send relay keystroke to a third party. All of these are other examples of 
potential security threats. Question number 10, part A. What is meant by HTML? So HTML it means hypertext markup language. It makes use of both structure and presentation. It's a web authoring language used to create a website. Uh, uses tags to define color, font, graphics, and layout. Question 10, part B. The following URL is typed in. State the part in the URL that is the file name. The file name is computer science paper. The protocol HTTP. And last, the web server name www.cie.org.uk. Last question. Question number 11, no, um, sorry, not last question, before last. Question number 11, a security system in installed in the house, a hexadecimal number is entered to activate or deactivate the alarm. The alarm code is set to hexadecimal number 2AF. Show the number that we stored in the 12-bit binary register. So part A is as follows, so the value of 20010, the value of a, 10, 10, and the value of F, 11, 11. Part B, identify the sensor th that the security system could use to detect intruders. Describe how each sensor could be used in the security system. So sensor 1, we can make use of an infrared motion sensor. Receive infrared and send data to microprocessor used to detect the heat of an intruder. Or we can make use of a pressure sensor, receive a current if a circuit is created, stop receiving current if the circuit is broken, send data to microprocessor, placed on window door at entrance used to detect a change in pressure. And lastly, question number 12. What is the difference between freeware and free software? So freeware needs owner's permission to share copy, amend, whereas free software can be shared, copy, amended without permission. Freeware, the owner retains the copyright, is subject to copyright, whereas free software, the owner re releases copyright and is not subject to copyright. Freeware is normally provided without a fee, whereas free software is, whereas free software, a fee may be charged. Freeware is distributed without the source code, whereas free software is distributed with the source code. Freeware can be restricted in use, non-commercial, whereas free software can be used without restriction. So this was the correction of uh, the October-November 2016 paper 1-2. Hope you guys have liked the video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, click on the thumbs up, and leave a comment to know how the channel can be improved. Until then, see you guys next time.